A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, impotence, and reproach. That's Sirach 25 and 22. A woman that has to maintain her husband is going to be full, full of anger, impotence, and reproach. If she has to maintain you when it comes to telling you to study. If she has to tell you to teach her the word. If she has to tell you to get a job. If she has to tell you to stop smoking or drinking. If she has to tell you to shower and brush your teeth. If she has to maintain you in these ways. If she has to tell you to do your duties as a man and as a head and, and to lead your household. If she has to tell you these things, then don't be surprised, brothers, when she becomes full, full of number one, anger, right? She's going to be mad all the time because she's tired of having to maintain the person that is supposed to be maintaining her according to the word. Number two, she is going to be full of impotence. Impotence can mean a few different things. It can mean shameless, right? She might shame you and herself in the process by telling everyone you're good for nothing, right? She may tell your friends, your family. She may even put it on social media. I used to see this all the time when I was on Facebook, right? Impotence can also mean to be bold, right? It can be bold with contempt of others. She is going to be bold with you because she's tired of you not being the head or the man that in her mind, right, she was thinking that you were going to be when she married you. And she's, she's going to be bold with contempt. Contempt is the act of despising or viewing or considering or treating you in a, a way that is considered mean or in a way that that she sees you as worthless right she's going to treat you with disdain because you are proving yourself to be worthless when it comes to being ahead right so the third thing she's going to be full of is she's going to be full of reproach she's going to be ashamed man she's going to be she's going to feel disgrace because she doesn't want to have to be the head and the help meet right no woman should have to be the head of the household and the help me, right? And that's going to lead to her using uh, opprobrious or foul language towards you. She's going to, to talk to you with scorn, with anger, with contempt, right? So you have to understand that like Genesis 3 and 16 says, a woman's desire is to her husband that he shall rule over her, right? So a woman doesn't want to have to maintain or lead her husband. So that's why when she has to, when she has to maintain you, she is going to be full of anger and impotence and reproach and, and much reproach is what it says, right? So now I'm not condoning or approving of this behavior in any way, but hey man, it's in the scriptures so you know it's it's the truth you know what's gonna happen when she has to maintain you right if you don't want your woman or women to act in this way or have this this spirit on them then you need to gain control of yourself gain control of your household and you need to maintain yourself and maintain your household right and lead them according to the word because time's running out quick and like it says in um, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3, we are supposed to be the head of our women, right? So through the Most High, through the Word, through the, the Rakah Kadash, through the Holy Spirit, you can re regain control of your household and maintain them, but only through the faith and through keeping the laws of the Most High, right? So all praise to the Most High. Yahweh Shalom.